take the grill cover off kind of day, kind of video. I love this little teeny tiny Weber grill so much. It's been so good to us the last few months. But they don't watch the vlog. I do have a grill company that watches my channel. And it's like, we want to send you a full quiet on set. They want to send me one of their grills to use in my videos. And I am so excited. They've been working on this building for six months every single day. Finish it. Shut the f up. Get this turned on, ignite, close this, get that grill nice and hot. <laughs> hey guys, welcome back to the food vlog here at Hey Sean Ely. I'm so excited that you were here. Today, you saw the thumbnail, you saw the title of this video, I'm assuming. We got Maxwell Street Polishes, four in a pack. We've got our little four pack brioche hot dog buns. Shout out to Lewis, doing four packs, I love that. And then what on God's green earth is this? <laughs> Hormel Chili makes a Coney Island inspired chili, no beans, with mustard and onion in it. What? Everything's already in the can. You open the can and pour the can on your hot dog. It's all in the can. <laughs> Coney Island, New York, the Ferris Hill, whatever. I grew up inside Coney Island, like a Coney Island restaurant, a diner in Detroit. Coney Islands are what we call diners in Metro Detroit. Was a big Leo's guy growing up. Love Lafayette, American next door in a pinch. You could find me to Senate. These Greek inspired little diners, you can have breakfast, lunch, and dinner there. And in Detroit, if you know, you know, the Coney Dog, a no bean chili, you got mustard, you got onions, you're humming. You don't traditionally slop it all up together in one pot and dump it on, but I had to buy this. So today, Coney Island Coney Dogs from a can. <laughs> Is this camera in the shot? <laughs> we gotta look at this first and for, oh wow. A little bit of an oranger, reddish hue Jackman to it than I would have thought. I guess that's the yellow mustard kind of making the chili look that color more than it would. It smells exactly like the inside of a Leo's Coney Island. It's kind of wild. Beef and pork, water, onion, tomato paste, chili powder, garlic powder, amongst other things. Would you eat this? Comment below just yes or no, nothing else. Just one or the other. Does spinning it do anything for you? No. You guessed it. Dump can into pot. Kind of understand the onions in it, but the mustard too is off-putting. <laughs> let's get this burner going here. While this comes up to temperature, let's cook our dogs. I love these Bobax sausages so much. Like this is the brand I've been buying. They sent me some and I've now been buying them. So it worked. This is the best quality. Allie loves these and she's so particular. Anything that's not just like a regular hot dog, like sausages, brats, anything like that, it needs to be so perfectly done. This is like all she'll eat. I'm gonna make her two as well. This is bubbling over here nicely. I like to put just like kind of four little slits on each side of these. They don't get all shrivelly. What do you guys think of this? Is this off-putting or super convenient or both? <laughs> seems like a decent consistency. I'd like it a little thicker. Kind of seems like it's a touch thin, but we'll see. Let's go throw them on the grill. Should I tell these construction guys that I'm shooting a uh, small YouTube video for my channel? Okay. Cook my babies. Now I want a hot dog. Time to flip. Oh yeah. Certain foods, you know, shooting food online for almost a decade. I just like shooting the, more than other things. And brats, sausages, kind of thicker encased meats are some of my favorite. They never don't look great. Encased meats off the grill. Looking divine. I steamed up some buns. I like steamed buns over grilled buns, personally. I don't like a hard bun. Take a beautiful bow back, see? You put them on a bun. Now our moment of truth. Our chili in a can. This is gonna be something to behold, you guys. Okay, you go in there, chili.
I don't know how to feel about this. I would absolutely normally put more mustard and onion on it, but I want to do it as is. I'll maybe add some more mustard to the second one, but I have to try this as it was intended. Oh, also. For Allie's too, there's no world she's gonna eat these without cheese. She's smart. So to hers, we add some shredded cheese. This chili's pretty hot. I bet this cheese will melt relatively quickly. Set hers to the side. Here's what we're working with. Want some cheese dogs? Yeah. All right, not much to look at compared to this. In Detroit, it is glorious looking. But hey, let's just pretend like you don't have mustard on you. And you don't want to dice a white onion. Hmm. The first thing I'm getting is like a tomato. Like tomato eat. What do you think? It's making me really want Skyline. Wow. Whenever you're feeling good and hungry, it's Skyline time. Yeah, I mean, this is making me want Lafayette Coney Island. It's not bad. Hmm. Mid meal shower. It is not all what I expected. It's like I can't taste the onion or the mustard, and it doesn't have that like normal Coney Island taste. It's like tomatoey, kind of bland. Not as salty as I thought it was gonna be. The real winner here is these bowback sausages. It's insane how good those are. The snap, hmm. Y'all, I think it's a skip. I think I would rather just have mustard and the Maxwell Street Polish without chili. Totally uneventful. Hmm, I'm gonna add a lot of mustard to the top of this. I just really want like the pile of cheese and fresh onion. This is assuredly gonna make it better. It needs more zip and tang of mustard. Sure has a sloppy food to eat on camera. Instantly so much better. Man, I love mustard. Another shower. So in the ingredients list, they just add mustard flour into this, but it says actual onions. But I'm tasting that tomato paste. One, two, three, four. The fifth ingredient is the most prevalent. Mustard flour, don't cut it. Yeah, I don't know that like food that needs a bath. Yeah, if I like never had that again, I don't think I'd be sad. <laughs> I like that you needed a mid-meal bath too. They also have just a chili cheese version of this as well. I gotta imagine that's not worth it. At least the bowbacks are good. The bowbacks are so good. Last bite. And then I guess the scraps. Yeah, Hormel, you put too much tomato paste or whatever in it. That ain't it. Not bad, just that doesn't need to exist. Sorry I keep going back to the sink, but I'm gonna go get in my big sink. The uh, shower is about to be occupied. Big no on that. I wonder how much I paid for that. $2.99. All right, I'm gonna go clean my grill, shower my body. Once again, tell these construction workers to take the day off once. The Venmo, the PayPal, the cash out, if you guys wanna support the vlog. If there's any foods you wanna see me grill or do, so excited for the future grill coming. You guys will be here for that. Shout out to all these freaking people. Name on screen in every video when you join the channel memberships linked below. That would have been a lot better with a beer, but I didn't want to start drinking yet, so I'm also out of beer. Canned Coney Dogs up. What a sad life I live. Canned Coney Dogs down. Hormel, nice try. Good swing. Be good to each other. Hey, won't you pour me another? I'm going in. So wish me good luck. Yeah, I gotta put on my favorite song. I need a boost. Let's turn up the love. No, it is way too late, but I just can't get my eyes of you. Maybe we will regret this, but tomorrow.